What up my dogs? Today we're pushing again on my mini account and I wanted to talk about these are the best days of your life. That is a saying I heard a lot when I was younger from my parents and I just, I always hated that. It was like, so I have nothing to look forward to. The rest of my life is just going to be miserable. By the way, those were the sloth slothiest reactions I've ever seen in my life. And I hate that expression because why would I not, like, why would you tell someone who's young that, or not even that, I'd say when you're a teenager, it's like, they, they say you're carefree, you don't have to worry about anything, blah, blah, blah. And then I feel like that saying continued on now that I'm in my twenties to being like, these are the best days of your life because you're, you know, carefree and you can do whatever you want. And it's just like, I don't agree with that. I've never agreed with that. A, I don't like the saying because it's just a pessimistic thought. Or maybe I'm just really optimistic in the way that I think about this. Because the way I think about it is, no, like, I'm not going to make it, I'm not going to make the rest of my life suck. I know they're like, oh, if you get a family, you're going to have tie downs and you're going to have debt and problems. I'm probably going to get these things, but they're going to be by my own accord, things I want to do. I have things I look forward to in my life and I probably will be looking forward to that next thing. Like I always, when I was younger, I always used to dread what being like an adult would be like and getting a job. And I was like, oh, it's so, it, it, I actually do like what my life is like right now. And I'm kind of scared of what it might be like when you're older, but you could just do whatever the hell you want. I mean, you're in the live once. So I'm enjoying what I'm doing right now a lot more. And now I'm living the best life I ever had. And even though I am in my twenties, which is still the period of time where my parents and people say, oh, these are the best days of your life. So, you know, you should really live in them. Is it? I mean, yeah, I'm still enjoying my life and I feel like I will continue to enjoy it or I will continue to improve on and enjoy other things and other areas of life as things progress, even when I'm 30 and 40 and 50 and 60 or whatever. Who knows? Maybe I'll just become a, a felon and go to prison for the rest of my life and I'll just be watching this video like I miss the good old days. But who knows, man? I mean, understand if you become like crippled as well and like you get cancer and arthritis and you're old as fuck and your quality of life sucks. Like, yeah, I get it. But why does it have to suck? Like, why do these have to be the best days? What happens when I turn 30? Does everything immediately suck? I think it's a case of just the grass is always greener. It always sounds better when you're young. You look back on things that are actually like my parents or older people will probably look back on their lives and be like, oh, I remember when I didn't have this problem, this problem, this problem. But you probably got worse things now or you have different problems then that you just don't remember. It's like looking back on nostalgia. Like I look back on playing games. I'm like, oh, this was really good. But then when I think about it, I was like, actually, in that period of my life, that game wasn't even that good. Like this... That, that game actually kind of sucked dick. I fucking hated it. And I hated the rest of my life at that point. Everything sucked. Like even thinking about school, I'm like, oh, year nine, you know, the good old days. I loved everything. Everything was so easy, but I fucking hated assignments and just everything sucked. Also, I feel like the expectation that these are the best days of your life is a lot of pressure because it's like, I think that thought intrinsically makes people enjoy their 20s or their teenagers less. I've heard this saying where it's like your 20s are basically your teens where you don't know what, what you're doing or you don't know who you are or anything, except you're meant to be an adult now. That's the only difference. And I hate it because like so many people are actually like depressed at this age or don't know what they're doing. I hate their life. You know, I'll take a free towel, Mr. Noob. You are living up to your name right now. But yeah, I hate that expectation that you're just meant to have the time of your life and everything's meant to be, you know, awesome. You're always partying and having fun and you're young and it's awesome and everything's God tier. It's just so stupid, man. I don't really get it. It's just unrealistic expect- Am I playing Mega Knight again? Is everyone just play- Okay, well, he is Mr. Noob, so I understand. Then you get angry at yourself, like, why am I- Why am I not enjoying? This is the best period of my life, and I hate this. Does that mean the rest of my life's gonna suck? That's probably why so many people this age, at this age just kill themselves. I actually don't know if that's true. Do people at our age kill themselves? That's why I'm never fearful of the future or scared of what the future's gonna look like, because- there's just no point. Everything just comes along and happens. And whether or not it, it's scary or people like, these are the best days and things ahead is going to suck. It always works out and it's always good. I hate worrying about things like that. Something else that brings me a lot of peace is if I'm going to die, right? Or something's going to suck. If I'm going to die, why? On, what? I'm playing Mega Knight again? Everyone in this range is playing Mega Knight. Then it doesn't matter if I'm going to die because I'm going to die. Like there's, there's literally no point in worrying about it. If it happens, it happens. You're dead. You're not going to feel anything. So it brings me a lot of peace in knowing that I do not have to worry about dying because it's just going to happen 
and there's nothing I can do about it. There's literally nothing I can do about it, I die. I think worrying about things, if you think about it, is actually the most pointless waste of like time and energy. Because if I'm worrying about an exam, or I'm worrying about some competition that's coming up, I'm every time I'm gonna perform worse. Like no top athlete or top performer will ever perform at their best when they're worried. It is definitely and a hundred percent a liability and you will not perform at your best if you're worried it's just a burden and so, so worrying about things is just completely useless i i i don't know if there was there's a way to just not worry about things at all like you're obviously bound to be like nervous about things but when you think about it you can pretty much like convince yourself that it doesn't matter at all. That's what I've been trying to do sometimes. Like if I'm really nervous for something, I'm just going to be like, well, I'm just going to die. And this doesn't really matter if I think about it. Like what is the best, I think in my mind, what is the best possible thing that could come off me doing my best and compare that to me doing my worst in that same situation. So for example, if I was taking an exam, I don't know why I always use the exam example. It's just an easy one. If I was going to do an exam and I got a hundred percent, the best case scenario, and I'm just like, well, Okay, that'd be kind of cool. I mean, that, w that would be kind of decent. And if I got 0%, oh, well, there's always going to be another exam. Yeah, it might suck for a bit, but, you know, life will go on. That's not the end of everything. But if you're worried about it in a way where it's like you start thinking of the end, end result where it's like, oh, no. Like, what if, what if I get, like, really bad? If I don't do this right now, I could suck. That is the opposite of the point I'm trying to make right now. That is what you don't do. You just think of it as, like, it doesn't really matter. And so there's no point. This is a massive tangent, by the way, from what I was talking about. It doesn't matter at all. So you shouldn't worry about it because nothing really matters at the end of the day if you think about it like that. And therefore, even though it does matter to you, you will probably perform better and you will have a great time in the exam because you weren't worried about it and therefore you're performing better. And I hate the fact that you can let... Okay, rip my princess. Wait, can I just win this game by golden barreling? I hate the fact that you can just let emotion i think emotion it's so weird that emotion is like such a big part of being a human when most of the time for when you're actually trying to get things done it is the biggest liability of all time because it's just it doesn't do you any benefit speaking of exams i was actually just thinking back to my final exams in my final year of school i was so bad with the man i spent most of my time during school playing clash and making YouTube videos, honestly. Those are the two things I actually like. Mainly making YouTube videos, to be honest. But the vessel of, the vessel I used to do that was uh, basically playing Clash. And so what I ended up doing for my final exams was it was really bad. Obviously, I studied. I didn't study as much as I could have because that is something I had no interest in. I knew I didn't like school at all and I hated it. And I definitely got into arguments with my parents about it all the time. But... On my final exams, I would stay up all night just cramming. I remember like, I knew my plan was on the day of the final exam to cram study all night or to cram study for a few hours and then go to sleep, like maybe at a decent time. So I perform, you know, decently well on the exam because, you know, it's important to get a good night's rest. But I literally just studied all night. I literally studied the whole entire night. I crammed the whole night and I was going to the exam on zero sleep. I didn't even sleep at all. I just like the whole day I stayed up, you know, went to school, whatever, studied. And then I did that all night until it was the next day in the morning of the, the exam. And it was a horrible idea. I still got by, but I heard something where it's like, you're meant to not do any study like the day before the exam, or you're not meant to do any study by the night of the exam, because at that point you're just trying to pack too much into your brain and you should already know it at that point and you're you should understand it because trying to cram it all at the last minute you'll forget things and it's like bad for your brain to study but man i was awful you guys i'm terrible influence do not do this there's a reason where youtubers are just a degenerate species that don't know how to do anything that's why i'm sitting here playing clash you don't want to be like me guys trust me it's not a it's not a lifestyle. If you can tell by my recent videos, it's just not a lifestyle you want. Now, I'm joking. I say that jokingly because I actually really do like what I'm doing. And I make it sound like I don't for comedic purposes a lot of the time. I mean, some videos I'm actually talking for real. Actually, what am I saying? All the videos on this channel have been realistic. But I make it sound worse than it actually is, I feel like. Or well, maybe I'm just venting sometimes. I don't know, guys. My life sucks. You don't want to be like me. My life's way too hard. But while we're, while we're here, I want to know... 
what do you guys think the length of the uh, the videos on this channel should be? Because I was thinking of making it like 12 minutes. I've experimented with like 7 minutes, like 18. I was thinking of doing a 20 minute one. And another thing is, I don't always want to have... I don't always have something like... Like a topic to talk about, you know what I mean? Sometimes I just want to play the game or just ramble or whatever. And yeah, I don't always every day have something to talk about. So either I'm going to upload not quite every day, maybe every few days or make some videos a bit different. I don't know at the moment, but I don't want to be stuck in the routine of feeling like I have to talk about something every day. So anyway, if you want to watch another one, I'll have it on the screen probably over here and uh, subscribe. Bye.